Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend. I know it's Monday and a lot of people don't like Mondays, but to start off great, I decided to bring a simple to use mini game, which is survival games. It's perfect to play with friends and it's straight to the point, which I like. In this video, I'll explain everything from how to install the features, but sadly, since I don't have friends, I can't show gameplay as I am playing on a local host server. But stay tuned till the end of the video and I have some amazing news. So just make sure to watch the whole video. But before we get more into the plugin, I must say this video is sponsored by Sangata. Sangata is a one-stop shop designed to make finding the perfect plugin for your Minecraft server with a full user and developer feedback and constantly improving the platform. Sangata supports fair and just business practice with tons of high quality plugins to improve your Minecraft server from free to premium with a clean and modern design. Check out Sangata's marketplace in the description down below. I even use them and I support them. All right, to begin, we're gonna pretty much start setting up an arena. It's really simple, I'm not gonna lie. First, all you have to do is slash SG create, and it'll pretty much just give you the information needed to create an arena. So we do SG create, we're gonna give this a rename. So I'll go for Ted. Then the minimum amount of players, I'm gonna go for two, and the max amount, I think there's at least 16 total stems here, but I'm gonna go for eight because I don't wanna be adding each spawn. Now it is optional, you can add an offer for the world, but since I actually don't know who created this world, I'm not going to add one, but of course you could add one, say if your team built it after which you pretty much need to add the spawn for each one of them. So we do SG add spawn and then your arena name. So this one would be Ted. So we added one. Now we just need to add each one of them. Now I must clarify that every time someone joins, they're going to join from the number that you added. So one, two, three, that means everyone, if you add all the spawns next to each other, everyone's going to spawn next to each other. I really recommend you guys adding them in different places. That way it will all appear random and everybody's going to get a random chance. So seven and and eight so that's all my spawns added of course you could add a death match as well in order to add that i would really recommend creating a second arena as they will be able to walk around and run around meaning this type of arena right here since it's open it's pretty much the map i would not suggest at all because they can just wander out and then there's no point of a death match if people start roaming around the world and basically over here for a second we're going to act like this is a death match and we're going to do sg add Def match and then Ted just like that so just got to add them we're gonna add about four positions here because that's how much we want for a death match and regarding how many you add is also how many it's gonna need to start so four players is gonna start a death match that's half of the players in the mountain arena can be fit in here that's half the amount of players that can actually fit in here now walking outside of course I don't have an actual spawn but we'll use this just for just for tutorial purposes so say we wanted this to be right here our lobby so all you have to do is slash SG set global lobby now of course it's going to say the arena ted is using this world mainly because we cannot set it as the same world as a arena but pretty much that is the command every single time as soon as the game's done they'll be teleported to that area and it's super simple like that if you do slash sg edit ted or your arena name you can change everything you need in a gui which is really nice and i like it so you can also do anything here don't forget to save. So basically just to make sure you save after you change everything. So this is tier two items. This is tier two items, max items, and basically everything you can change lobby time, every single thing. You can also change this all in the configuration, but I like that there is a GUI in the game. That is really nice and super clean. Afterwards, you can do SG enable and then your arena name. And there you go, it's already enabled. And basically meaning players can just join SG join Ted like that. And there you go. You have every single item. You have a book at the beginning. Game Objective Survive Game is a fun PvP game about finding chests and trying to kill your enemies. You have to get as much loot as you can. Remember, last man standing wins. This is basically the OG of Fortnite. Then you also have vote. So you can change certain things such as the time. So I could vote for midnight if I want to. And since I'm the only player here, it would actually go for it. You have the shop where you can buy certain items as well before the game starts. And you also have kits that you can get pretty much here. So I have my kits. It's kind of a big multi d right there so i can't really see it all and then we also have kits i can buy and then vip kits as well so it is super nice and then you can just sleep right here just like that it's super clean i just enjoy it to four start a game you can do sg start but of course it needs at least two players and like i said i don't have any friends so i won't be able to demonstrate this at all and of course you do have a nice little scoreboard which you can change in the configuration but I really recommend you guys creating your own custom scoreboard because it makes everything just 10 times better. But I like the plugin even adds that feature at all because other plugins just don't. You can also do SG admin to see all the admin commands you can run. So right here you have every single admin command you can run. So if we do SG coins, 
you can do SG coins, add and then for my name, I can go ahead and give myself a hundred, a thousand, doesn't really matter. You can also remove, edit, or even set. So it's just really nice. I really like all the features in this plugin and it's super simple to install, just like that. So there you have it. Survival Games is a simple to use plugin. A link will be provided in the description down below. But before I do finish this video, I want to ask you, a few months ago, I left Pebblehost and I joined Revive Node, as of which I had to shut down my old server squad. At this point, I know where I went wrong and how to improve. So I want to ask you, do you want me to reset up the server explaining everything, how it works and how I put all my ideas together to create something unique. If you want to just leave your comments in the description down below and make sure we can get up to 100 likes in this video. That's pretty much it however and I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have make sure to smack the like button. Of course I'm Diamond and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.